Hey guys! As with every new expansion release, there are tons of bugs. What's up? Oh my god, what's up with my void storage? And it feels quite horrible to have your in-game performance be worse, because of something that shouldn't exist. So I decided to spend the last few days looking through every single talent tree, in hope to find as many bugs as possible to be fixed. In this video, we will look through the Paladin, Death Knight and Warrior trees. If you know that I missed any bugs, or you got any you want to share for your class, please leave a comment, and I'll add it in a future video. Also, at the end, I'll go through spells that are not exactly bugs, but are more likely oversights. Let us start with Attribution Paladin. They have two bugs in their tree. First, we have the Sanctified Ground, which makes you unable to be slowed below 80% movement speed while you stand in your Consecration. The bug is, if you cast your Consecration, and then remove the talent, you'll keep Sanctify Ground permanently on you. This includes changing specialization, so you can pretty much have a better death advance permanently. I am free. I bugged it up. What have you done? What? Wait, what did you do? Have you got permanent sacrificed ground? Yeah. <laughs> I can't just slow below 80% on the better deacon now. Even if you slow me, I think I'm faster. You can try. Yeah. I am faster. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Losing this bug might feel a bit bad to be honest, and if any Bliss devs see the video, it should probably be a feature. It would solve the Paladin wheelchair meme at least. Oh, I can be on slow as a protection Paladin. This is so nice. That's so OP for PvP. Yeah, it is. The second bug in the tree is that Crusade, which on its own is supposed to increase your haste for each stack, actually increases the damage on as well, even when you haven't specced into a Vending Rot in the general tree. For example, here is Consecration damage at 10 stacks of Crusade, with a Winning Rod talented. It is about 320. And here is Consecration damage at 10 stacks, without a Winning Rod talented. Still the same. Even when the tooltip says it's only supposed to grant haste, so you get the benefit of a Winning Rod without even talenting it. The last bug is probably a tooltip bug. It is Ashes to Ashes. This says Seraphim gives you 4% haste, crit, and versa. But when the buff is granted to you, it is the full benefit of a normal Seraphim, which is 8%. Now, let us move to Protection Paladins. This is by far the most buggy spec. First, we have Venue Shield, which procs Precognition on enemy casters in PvP. Precognition is only supposed to proc when you get interrupted while not currently casting. Now, as you see, my Venue Shield is not an interrupt or a silence at all. It still procs that as if it was an interrupt. So every single Avenger Shield I do, that's why it's useful in PvP, because you're giving the enemy more haste. But Avenger Shield isn't even an interrupt in PvP. It only works that way against non-player enemies. Even weirder, it gives precognition while the enemy is casting, which should never be a thing. The second bug is Blessed Hammer. The damage reduction part of the ability doesn't work. Not in PvE or PvP. Damage against Rex is reduced by 950. Comment log? Nope, not a single thing. It's no difference at all. The damage from the enemy ability remains the same, and nothing shows in the comment log at all. They auto hit me passively for 250, 300, 300. Less hammer applies, and 280, 300. Completely broken. The third talent is Inner Light, which is a Torrent buff given to you after Shield Righteous expires. This talent too deals no damage at all. Thankfully, the block chance still works. Okay, so three are built us in, and we have found three bugs already. Then we have Inspiring Vanguard, which gives you 2% additional strength when it procs. Well, it says 2 strength, not percentage. But in reality, it gives 9. You see, it gives you 2% of your base character strength, not your actual strength. So that's another bug. Then we have Bastion of Light, which makes your next holy power spender cost no holy power. The issue with this is that if you have Diamond Purpose currently active, a single holy power spender will consume both Diamond Purpose and Bastion of Light at the same time, wasting one of them. We have a bug with Sentinel, and the PP talent Aura of Reckoning, both which gives you a modified version of a Vending Wrath. If you consume the Reckoning proc, that gives you 6 seconds of Sentinel, it will replace your original 20 second duration sentinel, instead of adding to the duration. Another talent pack for PvP is a Gift of the Golden Valkyr, 
which makes Avenger's Shield reduce the cooldown of your Guardian of Ancient Kings for each target hit. Does not work with the modified version of Guardian, the PvP talent Guardian of the Forgotten Queen. Most of the time, abilities that replace something else should fully benefit from modifiers that affect the basic version. Next one, Bulwark of Righteous Fury. Sack up the damage and range of your shield right this. And at 5 stacks, it says it has more than 30 arch range. Sadly, in practice, it does not. As much as I would like to have more than 30 arch range on my main spell, it is most likely not intended to stack that high, and the tooltip is simply wrong. The last protection pally bug is a moment of glory, that is supposed to make you get a shield for 20% of all the damage you do. But it is currently bugged and only counting auto hit damage, nothing else. That was a total of 9 bugs for one spec. Wow. Now for the last paladin spec, Holy Paladin, we have two smaller ones and one large bug. The talent Glimmer of Light, which makes Holy Shock leave a glimmer buff or debuff on targets, will sometimes not proc on future Holy Shocks. Which you can see in the current clip. Oddly enough, it started to work after debuffing a third target, so it seems inconsistent. The talent Diamond Resonance, which makes Diamond Tool cast Holy Shock every 5 seconds, will stop casting Holy Shock if you use Diamond Tool offensively, and then have no target. This is a minor bug, since as a healer, you will most of the time have a friendly unit targeted. The major bug in the Holy Tree is that a Vending Crusader which is supposed to deal 250% of your judgement, auto hit and crusader strike damage as healing, does much less than it's supposed to. As you can see in the current clip, when I got an 8k judgement crit, a vending crusader only healed for 3k, so it's definitely bugged. Now for the general tree, we have 3 bugs. First, it is Dusk and Dawn. The Blessing of Dawn should increase your healing and damage by 6%, and that's what it does normally. But if your talent seal an order, which makes Dawn also boost your holy power spender by 10%, this somehow buffs your standard 6% Dawn into 10%, which is more than it says it should. This is not a tooltip bug either, it actually makes the performance of Dusk and Dawn much stronger than intended. Then we have Aspiration of Divinity, which makes you get an overlapping main set buff. The bug with this is that it stacks, not overlaps. Every other wording in the game that says overlap, you shall have each stack drop off independently of each other, such as the case for Iron Fur, or even Paladin's own Crusader's Resolve. But this is not the case with Divinity, which makes it a permanent 6% strength buff. The last bug is a minor one, with Obduracy. It's supposed to give you 2% speed and 2% avoidance. This actually gives you 2-7% avoidance, and the speed is reduced by diminishing returns giving me 1 of 4%. Not a big deal, but I care about perfection. So, let us move on to another class, the Death Knight. And let us start with the most game-breaking bug they have. It is in the Blood Tree, Voracious, which increases the healing of Death Strike by 15%. But truth is, it actually increases the minimum healing by a whole 37%. Look here. Without a talent, my tooltip on Death Strike says 7.4% and it heals for 8.9k. Changing into the talent, the tooltip goes from 7.4% to 10.1%. And the heal is a massive 12.3k. This is quite a massive oversight, making blood much stronger than it is supposed to be. The second and last blood bug is the Titan Grasp that is supposed to increase the damage of targets affected by Gorfin Grasp by 5%, but this actually increases damage by 10%. This is not simply a tooltip issue, as you can see my damage go up about 10%. For the Unholy Tree, we first have a bug with Coral Devastation not working inside arenas. I tested this and can confirm it's true. Okay, so no. the call level station death call caused the target taking an additional 4% of direct damage dealt over do it, do it, do 4 it. seconds, and it did... It doesn't work. No. But you I have don't the... have a dot. But yeah, 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 it doesn't work. Let's try again, just after you absorb. No, no, it doesn't work at all. We have a quite major bug within Holy Aura. 
You see, it's supposed to increase the damage done of your minions to target within 8 yards. The bug is that the second point in the talent only benefits your main pet. All your other pets are stuck with a 10% damage increase, instead of 20%. You can see here my Skalker doing 260 Skalker shot when I'm out of range. And my normal pet does about 350 melee hits. But when I get closer, with a rank 2 and holy aura, my normal pet gets a 20% damage boost to 420. But my Skalker only gets a 10% boost. And the second part of his Skalker shot doesn't even gain any damage boost at all. I tested this with all minions, and they only get the boost from the first point into the talent, which is 10%. Then we have a bug with Viscera. It does much less damage than the tooltip says. Tooltip says 428, but the damage is considerably less at about 287. Might be some scaling issue. The last bug... Dude, if I keep saying bug, I'm gonna lose my mind. Anyway, the last bug for Unholy is a PvP talent, Life and Death. This 5% does not work on all healing, only certain casted heals. You see, in this duel with Ipanic, when he heals himself with a death strike, I don't receive any healing at all. Okay, now this question, how much do I heal when you death strike? Me? Ready? Yeah, let's go. I heal nothing. I don't see Whoa. anything. No, it's not going up because it doesn't work. It's like, it's still the same. As for Frost Death Knight, I didn't find any real bug with the spec. Hooray! The closest thing is Frost Fever, having you stuck in combat sometimes. In the general tree, we have one large bug and a small one. The big one is Insidious Shill, which reduces enemies' attack speed by up to 20%. Well, in reality, this does the exact opposite. It increases the attack speed. You see on these orcs, one of them have the debuff active, which should slow their attack speed. But once their swing is synced, which one hits first, you think? It is the debuffed one. I tested this in PvP combat too, and you see a considerable speed increase if you have the debuff on you. Here are three auto hits without the debuff. And here are three auto hits with the debuff. Well, this talent will surely help us survive melee damage, am I right? The last DK bug is a really big one. It is Unholy Bond, which increases the power of your runeforge by 20%. With this talent, my Hysteria should increase my max runic power by 24. But it only adds 23, which is a large oversight, and that extra runic power could sometimes save my Death Knight's life. As for warriors, they have no general talent bug, only spec specific ones. Let us start with Protection Warrior. Unnerving focus does not increase your rage gain on many abilities. Which you can see in the combat log, such as Shockwave, Thunderous Roar, Blood Surge, Instigate, and Avatar. Brace for Impact is misleading. It says it increased the amount of damage blocked by 25%, but in truth, it only increased the damage blocked by about 10%. It should say increased block value. Similar to shield specialization, to be more correct. Enduring Alacrity only increases armor by 3 or 4% instead of 5%, as the tooltip says. You see, my armor go from 5596 to 5784, which is a 3 or 4% increase after talenting it. Before you say it's diminishing returns, Pogus Vigor, a very similar talent, makes it go all the way up to 5875 which is a 5% increase. Armor itself doesn't have any diminishing returns. Dance of Death is supposed to make Ravager last longer after killing an enemy, but it doesn't actually appear to add any duration at all. At least the amount of ticks I gain remain the same. You can see here without the Dance of Death buff, my Ravager ticks for a total of 6 times. And with the Dance of Death buff, it still only takes 6 times, so something is definitely off with it. Hey, at least the damage increase works on it. Battle Scar the Veteran, as damage reduction when you drop to low health. However, there is no cooldown display on it, so it is hard to know when it's ready again. 
Now for Fiori. We have at least two bugs in the tree. First is Reckless Abandon, giving you an Empowered Raging Blow. This Empowered Raging Blow, called Crushing Blow, does not work with the PvP talent Beltrons. It's a similar bug as with the Paladin, Gift of the Golden Valkyr. Then we have Recklessness, which gives 100% increased rage. This does not work with the talent Onslaught. Onslaught will still only give you further rage, even when Recklessness is active. Last Fury bug is Tenderize, which says your Onslaught will give you 3 stacks of Slaughtering Strikes. But this is not the case unless you talent into Slaughtering Strikes. Since Slaughtering Strikes is an optional talent, you would expect Tenderize to state that if talented into Slaughtering Strikes, it will give you 3 stacks. Similar to Blood and Thunder for protection. Arms only have a few minor bugs. First is the Recklessness from World of Torment. This does not increase the rage gain from Blood Surge. However, most other rage builders for arms seem to work with it. Then we have a sweeping strike bug, which says single target abilities will affect a second target at less effectiveness. But if you use this with rend, the second target will take full damage every time. And the last bug we have is Dance of Death, the benefit from this being a longer duration blade storm. Sadly, this will disappear whenever you change a subzone. As you can see in my tooltip, it lasts for 6.9 seconds, but the moment my zone change, it goes down to 4.6. The buff will still remain though, as if it was still working. Of course I tested this, and in practice, it doesn't do anything at all. Now, let us talk about things that are oversights, and possibly bugs. We have Hammer of the Righteous versus Blessed Hammer for Protection Paladin. Blessed Hammer is better in almost every way. It has one extra charge, which is massive for holy power gain. It can be used when you're not close to your target, does better AoE damage, and even have damage reduction in it, if it worked as intended. Fuck these pussies, dude. I love shitting on these nips. <laughs> nice. Back during early expansions, Blessed Hammer in the talent tree used to replace Hammer of Righteous. It competed with other talents, such as Holy Shield or Redoubt. The oversight here is why Blessed Hammer, which is superior in almost every way except a tiny bit of single target damage, competes with Hammer of Righteous. The way to solve this would be to give Hammer of Righteous a modified damage reduction effect, stronger than Blessed Hammer. Then it could be an ability with fewer charges, and more limited, with each shard of it being much stronger. That or make each Hammer of Righteous generate two holy power at once. Touch of Light is probably bugged, most likely the scaling. You see, I remove my weapon and all that happens to the talent is that it does one less damage. Makes you wonder how this is going to scale at max level. 130 damage or something? Next up, we have Razorize, the enchant for Death Knight. It says 22% of weapon damage, and these days you would expect that to be 22% of auto hit damage, since most things scale with strength. But it actually does 22% of the listed weapon damage. It is a really, really low number, which makes you assume it is an oversight, or a thing that never got changed in the past. Talking about weapon enchants, the Apocalypse 1 for DK is so thematically good. It can reduce the enemy's healing received, or damage done and so on. But the effect is really lacking. It's used a few percentage with barely any uptime at all. It isn't even being applied by armor to dead ghouls. This enchant could definitely be tuned higher. Death Pact is quite useless at high healing reduction. You see the healing part of it is reduced, but not the healing absorb. So at high dampening, or if you face a mortal wound effect, the ability will do more harm than good for you. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'll do it. Bam. You see the big absorb, I have a 21k absorb on me. 12k and gave me a 21k absorb shield to heal, like absorb my own heals. How do you like that? It's, it's like, suicide if you ask me. Yeah, it is, that's the thing. This should probably be changed. So the healing absorb effect scales with the heal from death pact, instead of your max health. Also, about maximum HP heals, some percentage based healing is not scaling with versatility, such as the protection warrior indomitable talent, or the desperate prayer ability for priest. While others, such as the talent second wind, and last stand, which does the exact same thing as desperate prayer, are scaling with versatility. So are percentage based healing supposed to scale with verse or not? It's really inconsistent. Last oversight I want to bring up 
a storm of steel. It is really weird that it does 4 percent less damage, for some more rage gain and an extra charge. During longer boss fights, when you use it off cooldown, the talent would make it do less damage than if you didn't spec into it at all. If it also gave you a lower cooldown, it would make more sense. Well, that was all for this video. I hope you all thought it was interesting to deep dive into bug finding. As I said earlier, if you know any bug or oversight you want me to bring up, feel free to leave a comment and stay tuned for more. What? <laughs> Reason. Dude, this happened exactly in Classic World. Oh yeah, it did that. Wait, it didn't even in Calculate. They've always done that. They've never fixed it. What a shit boss, dude. Yeah, <laughs>